Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. All right, um, as we can see, the only man in nine assembly representing the people of Ibo is no other person than Senator Abaribe. All right? Now, this is the second person, a uh, prominent person that we have seen with the dot nation, the dot in the circle. We already know how come about the dot in the circle when the president Buari, all right? I really don't know if Buari was kind of mocking the people of Igbo, all right? By referring to Igbo nation as a dot in the circle that they have nowhere to run to, all right? That Igbo is landlocked. That is, um, I really don't know how to put it, but that is the language that Igbo people asking for a fallout from Nigeria, they have nowhere to go, that they are landlocked, all right? If Igbo is landlocked, is it only on land people do business? That is the question we should ask. If Igbo is landlocked, are they also a lock? If Igbo is landlocked, are they also sea lock? They are not. Of course, Ibo have, if you go to, I think, um, Afikbo, they have um, a very big river just for them to uh, dredge the, uh, the, the river, all right, and they can do business with it. What about Israel that is in the middle of uh, Middle East? Israel, but they are surviving. Are they not making it? So this speculation and this brainwashing that Igbo is landlocked. They have nowhere to go. I believe that was why, I don't know who gave uh, Buari that idea or the speculation before Buari came uh, on a national television telling the whole world that Igbo is landlocked, all right? And decided to give them a name, a dot in the circle. So now Abaribe is proud to be one of the dot nation. You can see this man. This is the only person that have the courage to represent his people. Yes. Can any Southeast governor, even in their dream, I bet you if any Southeast governor should see themselves wearing the dot in the circle in their dream, personally, I believe they will go for deliverance because it will be so strange for them. Can any Southeast governor have the courage to wear the dot in the circle? None of them have. Those people that call themselves Southeast governor, they should be covering their face in shame. Yes, they are not trying for the people. Okay, of recent, uh, they came uh, to a conclusion when they convey a meeting that they are not in support of Biafra agitation uh, because they were reacting to what the Northern Elders said. All right, that they are keeping quiet. Uh, that means they are in total support of this agitation by Biafra, all right? So the fear of the Northern Elders, they decided to convey a meeting and uh, come up with a, a communique, all right? That they are not in support. Are you speaking for the people of Biafra or you are speaking for yourself? Of course, because if there is a referendum, any is one man, one vote. That is how it is. So you are not speaking for the entire Biafra, you are speaking for yourself. All right, this is the only person, the second prominent Nigerian, um, I think it was a pastor, the first person that started the Dot Nation, all right, or Dot in the Circle was a pastor. And now Abaribe has come up. He is proud to be part of the Dot Nation. And as you can see, those colors are colors combination of Biafra, all right? I so, so, so respect this man. This is a people's senator. But however, let me know what you guys think on the comment section below.